Yeah, the Western Suburbs Magpies is one of the original teams in 1908 uh, when rugby league started. West uh, won the competition uh, on four occasions, runners up on eight occasions, and uh, five times minor premiers, uh, which I was fortunate to be part of in 1978. Some of the game's greatest players came up through the Magpies ranks. Arthur Summons, Harry Wells, Kel O'Shea, Noel Kelly, Tom Radonikus and Terry Lamb are all names that live on in the annals of rugby league. 61, 62, 63, um, West St George Grand Finals. One of them in particular was a very, very close affair in the mud. All right, as Arthur Summers gets it, now you can see the mud splashing up. From that, um, the, the wonderful trophy that the um, NRL plays for today, two great combatants from that day. Norm Sticks Proven, the tall gentleman in the, uh, in the trophy, and the shorter guy, of course, is the great halfback from Western Suburbs, Arthur Summons. And as you can tell, the respect they had for each other, but uh, the, the great sportsmanship that was clearly uh, evidence in, in that particular photo and, and statue. West's experienced a small resurgence in the 70s, winning the minor premiership in 1978. But the club was never able to recapture the glory of its first 50 years. It's basically um, financial constraints at the time where we lost a lot of really good players. As you know, there was a time there when West were um, being looked at as one of the, the teams to be left out of the competition because they were trying to reduce the number of teams in uh, the Sydney competition. The strength of our committee uh, uh, managed to keep West in it. But after receiving the wooden spoon in both 1998 and 1999, the writing was on the wall. The only way to avoid extinction was a merger with Balmain. Also founded in 1908, was one of the league's early powerhouse clubs. Between 1915 and 1920, the Tigers won every premiership bar one. The first club to claim five titles, some of the era's greatest players wore black and gold jerseys. Jimmy Cray, Chuck Fraser, Pony Halloway and Chimpy Bush were just some of the champions who propelled Balmain into league history. Balmain faced the steamrolling St George in three grand finals. But just like the Magpies, the Tigers couldn't overcome the invincible Dragons. Cutty grasping possession, but St George win 23 to 4, taking their 11th successive premiership, a world record in any code of football. One highlight of the period was the spectacular kicking prowess of Golden Boots, Keith Barnes who kicked a total of 742 goals for the Tigers. Balmain lost the major semi-final to the Premiers by a point, but came back to defeat Manly by a similar margin for the right to challenge South. In 1969, Balmain won its 11th and final Premiership. Calling for the ball, Proven positions Parker. On to the flying Williams, who dives over for the only try of the match. And they battle to the finish, but the final hooter brings an end to their hopes, and Balmain its first premiership in 22 years. One of Rugby League's foundation clubs, Balmain takes their 11th title, their first being gained back in 1915. The Tigers roar triumphantly in 69. In that era, another league legend made his name playing for the Tigers. Arthur Beetson, one of the greatest front rowers of the century. Using his strength, Beetson makes ground and Levin painfully discovered he's got a pretty hard skull. When I came into first grade of the Tigers, the club was really struggling. In fact, uh, we, we, we finished last uh, the second year I was started playing first grade. We had a, a guy who was the Australian coach who came on board and he turned the club around. And uh, Paul Sirenen, Benny Elias, um, Gary Jack, Steve Roach, uh, a guy called Bruce Maguire. We had a guy called Elry Hanley who captained England. He was playing with us. You know, side that was littered with internationals and it was just an amazing period for the club. Finals pretty much every year from, from 1983 through. We played in the 88-89 grand finals. Uh, I capped on the side uh, in those games. Uh, unfortunately, we lost both games. The second one was pretty, pretty tough because it was in extra time and, and uh, we're in front, way in front 
with about 20 minutes to go. In their 20th grand final, they were up against a side hungry for its first premiership, the Canberra Raiders. He passes in field for Korea. This will be incredible. Syrian charging, charging. They won't stop it. What a try. In one of the greatest grand finals in the game's history, the Tigers' hearts were broken in extra time. Balmain never recovered from that shattering disappointment. Faced with financial pressures and poor on-field performances, the merger with Western Suburbs was inevitable. The, the joint venture was inevitable for both Balmain and um, West Magpies. Initially it was something that people probably didn't want to happen. Well, a number of clubs in the competition uh, were struggling financially because of the, the, the ravages of the Super League war. West, uh clearly were put in the position where uh, a merger was necessary. West was the best fit and I, I still to this day think it's, it's a, a fantastic fit. It couldn't be a better fit. You had two clubs that started out together. and Clubs that were born out of hard work and hard yakka and, and, and working class origins. It was a necessary evil I suppose. I can tell you that nobody in the Magpie camp and nobody in the Balmain camp ever wanted or desired to enter into joint venture negotiations. It was about survival, yeah, so it was about trying to making sure that two foundation clubs remained in the rugby league. I'd hate to see any of the foundation clubs disappear and I think they've all got a right to be there. Once again they moved up on Craigie who can be so dangerous at close to the line. There's the kick, not a bad one, into the end goal it goes, who wants it? It's lying loose on the ground, it's been picked up by the West Tigers and they have got it. He's going to go to the video referee. We weren't really sure how the crowd and how the media and people were going to take this new team of West Tigers. Um, obviously very strong foundation clubs, very loyal supporters and I was lucky enough to um, score that, that first try. When the, the joint venture was announced I was given the, the, the role as, as head coach of the, the, the joint venture side. I grew up watching him play and having Wayne Pearce as my coach. Um, just like having Redon Tommy Redonikas as my coach was, you know, was quite um, yeah, starstruck, I guess. It's a very difficult period because I had to sack half of the coaching staff, half of the players had to go because we had to bring two clubs together. Uh, it was a very difficult time for the club, very difficult time for the, for the management, for the boards. And, uh, but out of that adversity has come uh, a club that, that has, has, has gone from strength to strength. From about 2001 to 2003, we, we sort of struggled on field. Um, it probably wasn't, you know, the best football that we had, we wanted to play, and, and the results showed that. The West Tigers wasn't seen as a top eight club. Then in 2004, we, we started a rebuild, and um, we had some really good young players coming through, the likes of Farah and Benji Marshall and um, Liam Fulton. Those guys were coming through the ranks and debuting. And For myself, I saw this club on the rise and there was a great opportunity to have some success. We went on a run, we won eight games in a row and, and we're fortunate enough to then play well in the semi-finals to, to knock off the Cowboys and you know, then Brisbane and St George. You know, we all got together and, and we were lucky enough to win that premiership. Words can't describe the feeling. Um, I think satisfaction comes to my mind when I talk about it um, because I, you know, I was 30, close to 30 years old at the time and um, to play in a grand final special, to win a grand final is, is amazing. So. Scando has a feel, mate. You only dream of a kid. You know, as a kid, you dream of this, can't hold one of this one day, and you do the hard work and it pays off, and you know, dreams do come true, and mate, my dream has come true. It's without a doubt the pinnacle of my career, uh, regardless of whatever I, else I've achieved. Um, to play with your mates and, and get a grand final is, is what you, you want to do as a kid, and, and we were fortunate enough to do that. Benji, the player that he was that year, just come out of his skin. He was, the things, crazy stuff that he was doing on the field, he was actually doing, doing that in practice too. I mean, you know, couldn't be better with a you know, great bunch of blokes, mate, you know, quite deserved, you know. It's an awesome feeling, mate. To be able to experience that was unbelievable and not only that, to be able to do it with a junior club, um, a club that I started with through my juniors um, and come through the ranks and yeah, again, just words can't describe that feeling and something that I, I hold very close to my heart and I will for a long time. Yeah, I think it's always good to have a little bit of a connection to the past, you know, Benji being a, an obvious signing there and, and Brett 
coming in as a um, yeah, coach in the ISP team and also he'll be involved with the, with the NRL side as well. To be associated with the West Tigers, personally for myself, West Tigers means family. To be retired and come back into a role where I'm giving back, it really means a lot to me. Players play for, for, um, for their family, for, them, for, them, for their, their pride, but having said that, who you play for I think should be factored into it and what that means. People that made a lot of sacrifices to build and create um, two foundation clubs which ultimately lead to the, to the West Tigers and I think that should not be, be overlooked and if you really tap into and as a club um, can, can get that sense of, of camaraderie and support that the club's been built on then uh, anything's possible this year. You know, I, I feel blessed every time I walk through the doors to come into work, um, that I get to work for a club that's so, that's so rich in history, you know, represents some great areas in Leichhardt and Campbelltown. And um, again, yeah, I just, uh, I pinch myself every day that I, I get to work here. For the new players coming to our club, we, we have high values that have been set and it's important that we, yes, we do work hard, but also enjoy our time here at the West Tigers and strive to be the best that we can be. We represent a, a large amount of people. Wear it with pride. Um, it's a privilege to be putting this jersey on. Um, and uh, yeah, I think you'll, you'll enjoy every moment that you, you're here with the West Tigers. Jumpers on the 